What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the video. This is uh, going to be the follow up video that I um, am making to the one that I uh, released earlier about how you fix um, back face calling inside of Lumion, like the invisible faces. Um, so what I have set up in this scene is I have uh, two rooms, so they're identical rooms. It just has this chair in it. So as you can see, um, everything that's blue is going to be uh, visible in Lumion. So the reason I made this one red um, with the, uh, it means that the back faces are, um, coming towards us. Um, it's because light is going to be able to pass through here and it actually lets you use skylight for interior scenes. So while it's not perfect, I do find that it can actually like bring the quality up a little bit, um, because it improves the bounce lighting over just straight up Piper light. Um, I've said it before, but I think that the, an area that Lumion struggles with is interior scenes where there's no natural light. So let's just pop into Lumion and we can kind of take a look at this. So um, this is how it looks. Um, and you can kind of see that like if I pop in here, like the, this floor looks a lot more flat than this floor just because it is kind of out in the sunlight. So I've just kind of gone through and I've put some generic like hardwood floor textures on it. Um, I've also uh, just gone and put some spotlights on. So these spotlights have a, uh, a value of like I think, yeah, 64. So I always turn them down from 300. And even this is a little bit bright. Like, I, I think when I did it the first time, it was only on like 20 or something like that. Um, but yeah, so how I set this up is uh, I use the overcast mode, but you can just kind of set the stack up yourself. Uh, so with Real Skies, I turned the brightness up. Uh, I think I adjusted the exposure a little bit, but not enough to really, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like I could just revert this. It's like the same. Um, but, uh, so yeah, then color correction, reflection, I didn't touch hyperlight. I turn on the preview, um, just so you have a better idea of kind of what's going on there. Um, so what I was talking about with doing this that I found was kind of the disadvantage is that it seems like skylight will work. It's it, so you, you almost get these like weird lines kind of coming down from the ceiling here. Um, where the camera is. So basically wherever your, your viewport intersects with like lines in the, the model. But I do think that even with these little, uh, things here, you, you, you still do kind of get, um, better lighting. So this is the scene with that, uh, the lights not being able to pass through the walls. And then this is the one that it is. So as you can see, it is much brighter and I find that you just get a better contrast. So you get the spotlights here. You can kind of see these like arches. So that's pretty normal, but then this area here doesn't look as, um, it just doesn't look as dark like this is obviously with the hyperlight. It does seem like it makes a little bit of noise, but um, it, it, it to me, it's probably still worth it. So what I'll do is I'll render these out. Uh, this is the skylight settings, by the way. So the brightness is turned down a bit just because it is quite strong. Um, and if you like, you don't need to put on high. I found that even just normal works pretty well. Um, so if we go to render um, photo one and two we'll do desktop, I'll just call this one. So as you can see, this is the scene um, where we've removed those like or we have the, the light coming in the back faces. Um, and I find that it just has, I guess, like I said, like better lighting, like it's uh, it's better like balance. Um, so let's just move these over here for now. Oh, one second. Yeah, so this is with the back face calling and then this is without it. So obviously the scenes are not perfect, but I find that it, it just helps even like the reflections. Like if you look at like right on the chair and maybe I'll make this full size. So if you look right on the chair, even though the sun is in the same spot, you're not getting that really harsh sun disc. So like right here, it's really harsh and it's you like the, the room is very warm from the color correction, but this looks kind of more balanced. So if you are doing an interior scene, um, you could kind of do this trick where you basically get rid of the roof and the walls so that from the inside, it looks the exact same, but you are going to get a little bit more light. Um, it might help balance out the scene. Uh, I, I would at least give it a try because as you can see, when you're in this mode, like you can very faintly see the lines from the skylight, but not really. Um, so I am going to be trying this out with a couple of interior scenes, like maybe doing a bathroom because um, interior bathrooms are the one, like the one scene in Lumion that I think it struggles with almost more than any other one, just because bathrooms typically have kind of like fluorescent lighting um, or like very bright white lighting. Um, and that doesn't always translate that great inside of um, Lumion. But what this would let us do is effectively um, just have like more bounce lighting coming from not only hyperlight, but then skylight, the overcast brightness. It, 
it has a pretty nice effect. So this is going to be like, this was a really short video. I've just been playing around with this idea. And I would recommend that you guys try it out as well, because, you know, I've been pretty happy with um, how it's coming out uh, so far. So I, I want to try it with a real scene. Um, what I kind of like about this too, is it seems like it really, you get more out of the textures. Like if you look at the hardwood floor, like even though that wasn't really supposed to be the focus, like it does actually make a big difference. Like this one looks like it's almost like it's just so yellow. Um, and these are just like the default, um, Lumion lights. So I didn't change the color or anything. I just changed the brightness, but I find that you get like a much nicer kind of shine to everything. So, um, yeah, if you found this video, um, interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a like, um, also maybe, uh, drop a comment below and let me know, uh, if you think that this is helpful, it doesn't take very long to set up. Like, um, if you watch my previous video, I just kind of went over the exact same things, um, that I did here. I just kind of went into detail, like, you know, as a quick, like wrap up, if I wanted to change the faces, I can go into edit mode with tab and blender hit three for face selection. And then I'm going to shift left click all this stuff and I can just hit alt N and then now they're the same again. Um, so yeah, you know, th this is another one of those things that like, if you aren't using blender, um, it's another little tool for Lumion that can really help you out. Um, so hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully this will help some people out. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone for checking out my channel, uh, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.